Today's topic is edge coloring and this topic is from graph theory. See here, what is this edge coloring? How we have to color these edges? So, here there is a technique that no two edges with the same vertices have same color. See here, no two edges which are adjacent should have the same color. So, let me explain you. So, these two are adjacent edges. So, I am taking one color to this and next color. I am taking another color. So, they are adjacent vertices. No two adjacent edges should have the same color. That is the technique before we have to color. So, if I take green here. So, green, green. So, adjacent shouldn't be of same color. So, I have to prefer another color here. So, I am taking blue. So, here the chromatic number for this coloring is 3. So, here the chromatic number is 3. And the next one, if you see here, there are four edges. One, two, three, four. See here, if I take red color here, again, I have to use red color here because these two are adjacent edges. So, I am taking another color that is green. So, these two. So, therefore, the adjacent edges have different colors if you observe this one. And therefore, the chromatic number of this graph is two. And the next one here, if you observe, so this one, so here, if I take red color, again, I have to take red color here because I shouldn't use red color to the adjacent edges. And now I am taking another color. So this is another color. As these two are adjacent edges, I have to use different, different colors here. And here, there, there are two edges remained. So I am taking another color, that one. That is green. So these two are not adjacent edges. And so I've used 1, 2 and 3. So here the chromatic number for this is 3. Here the chromatic number for this graph is 3. And next if you observe this one. So this graph. So I'm using blue here and again blue. And next one see. These two 1 and this one is 1. So they are no similar colors for the adjacent edges and now there is another edge here so i shouldn't use this uh, yellow color or else blue color so i have to use different color and see here so this different color is this one and therefore the chromatic number for this graph is three so i have used three different different colors and therefore the chromatic number here is three and see the next one so, how to color these graphs? So, we have to color these graphs using one simple technique that no two adjacent edges should have same color. And now, let's get started to color this one. So, in order to color this one, so what we have to do? First, we have to take the color. So, which one we have to select? So, I am starting with red color. And see, I have to use another color as this is adjacent. See here, this is adjacent. And see, I shouldn't use uh, red color here or else blue color here. And now, see here, I have to use different color for this. So, I am using here this one. Again, I can use this blue color here. So, this is a blue color. So, these two are different, different colors. And again, I can use red color here as these two are different, different colors. See, if you observe this one blue red blue and red blue and here also red blue there are no two similar colors so if i use red here so red and red adjacent edges if i use blue here adjacent edges so i should i should use another color for this so if i use this green color and see so i shouldn't use again green i shouldn't use red i shouldn't use blue and i have to use some other color so this is yellow and therefore, the chromatic number for this is 4. And see, got it? See, if you take these two edges, this is red yellow, this is blue green, this is blue red, and this is red blue, and this is red blue. So, no, tif uh, no similar colors are there for adjacent edges. And now, see this graph. If, I, if you see this graph, I'll start with red color. So, this is red. And the next thing, I, I shouldn't use red again. So, I am using this green color. And next again, 
I can use this red and again I can use this green here. So there are two two edges which are having different different colors and therefore the chromatic number for this is two. And next to see this graph. So for this graph how to color this one. So in order to color this one I'm starting with blue and this is also blue. As I shouldn't use blue here I have to use different color for this. So for this if I take the different color, see here, which color I have to take. So, if I use blue color, these two will be of similar colors. If I take red, these two will be similar colors. Therefore, I have to use different color for this. So, for different color, I am using green here. And therefore, the chromatic number for this graph is 3. And next, if you see here, for this graph, if I start with red, so here if I start with red here, so this will be again green and this I can use again red and again I can use green. See here, again I can use green here. So different, different colors, two different, two different colors, two different colors. If I use green here, green, green, adjacent edges. If I use red, 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 adjacent colors. So I have to select some other color which is different from red and green so i'm using this yellow color and therefore the chromatic number for this is three the for this graph is three so i have used three colors and see the next one is peterson graph so for this peterson graph this is also so easy if you observe so if i start with red color see here if i start with the blue color here so if i start this star like this blue and again i have to use different color here so here this is a different color and again i have to go like this so i can use this uh, blue color like that so again i can use so i can use again blue color see here this is the blue color which i am using or else i can use this blue color and next thing is so here if you observe this one if i can use this red color see there is no edge crossing this is blue red and this is blue red and here it is blue and it is i shouldn't use either blue or red so i have to use different color here so i am using this one so which color i am using i am using a different color as blue will be adjacent to blue color and red will be adjacent to red color so here and again which color i have to use so i'm taking green color see here i'm taking this green color for all these edges so these are all the edges so for this edges i'm using green color and again what i have to do so and i have to again uh, use all the colors here so which colors i'm going to use See, if I start with blue color, so here, if I start with this blue color, see here, blue, and next one, I can use another color here. It shouldn't be this one. So, I'm using this red color. See, red color. And next one here, again, I can use blue color. Again, I can use blue color. Again, I'm using this red color. And again, I can use this red color. See here. And see, if I use, and here if I use blue color, it will be adjacent edges. If I use red color, it will be adjacent edges. If I use green color, adjacent edges. So, I have to use different color. So, this is how we have to complete this graph. So, this is the Peterson graph and if you observe any two edges, which uh, these will be of different colors. This is red green green blue this is blue green green yellow yellow green this is green red green red and uh, blue green and so if you check all these colors so i have used four colors and therefore for peterson graph so the chromatic number here is four and next one for complete bipartite graph and this is also so interesting if you see if i start here with red color so again which color i have to use i have to use a different color so this is green color and again i shouldn't use green color here so i have to opt for another color that is blue i am selecting 
see here blue i am selecting so after blue which color so there shouldn't be green here again i'm using this red color red color and next if you see this one if you start from here so there shouldn't be blue color so you can use green color here so from this you can start with green color and again see here if you are very close to this one so red will be adjacent to this one green will be adjacent so i am using blue color here so if you take any two edges they will be of different colors see here red blue and this one is blue green and this one is green red blue and here also red blue and green and this is how we have to draw this one so one two one two one two so how many colors i have used this is blue green and red so here the chromatic number for this complete by parted graph k three comma two is three the chromatic number here is three so this is how we have to draw the edge coloring so no two edges should have the similar color that is the technique for this and this is also very very simple to understand and if you really like you just practice and it will be very helpful and if you really like and uh, understand please pass it on to your friends subscribe to this channel for more videos it will be very very helpful check the playlist thank you so much